Hi guys, I'm Danica with Couponing at its Finest and I'm bringing to you today a tutorial on how to use the coupon database. Now I had covered this um, in another video previously a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was at the beginning I believe of the um, of a grocery video but that was um, about maybe three weeks ago. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and do this separately so that everyone knows exactly what this is. Um, and once again, this is going to be just a tutorial for how to use the coupon database. Now, the database that I'm going to be showing, I use numerous ones, but this is the easiest one to use, the one that um, I started out with years ago when I first learned how to coupon. Okay, and the site is, and I'll put it in the video as well, cuckooforcoupondeals.com. If you can't see it right here, it's kind of small, but um, yeah, that's it, cuckooforcoupondeals.com. And she is awesome. She posts a lot of deals on her blog. I learned how to coupon from blogs. I do not use the Facebook groups. I'll lurk around in there and comment and try to help people, but I do not really do their deals because they're not 100%. Blogs are 100%. And they've been up for so many more years than I've been couponing over five years. Um, so, yeah, they're the most close. Well, let's say they're the closest to 100 percent on the deals. Now, you also have to remember that deals vary per region. Prices vary per region. But blogs are the closest to 100 percent that you're going to get. That's why when I teach couponing, I always tell people stay away from the groups. Not to say anything about the Facebook groups. There's a lot of them that are great. I have a Facebook group, but for a hundred percent deals, just about I'll say 99.9% .9 um, blogs are the best. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started. Once again, cuckoo for coupon deals.com, and this is her home page. Um, I have no affiliation with her, I just love her, she's great. Okay, now right here on the side, we do have like some drop down menus we have the stores, deals, freebies, coupons, um, like giveaways. It says when and start here, which she also has her own tutorials. Okay, now let's go ahead and we're gonna hover over coupons right here as you can see my mouse hover over coupons right over here on the left side it says coupon database you're going to click on that right there okay and then it's going to come up with another page okay now I have a website myself I'm not very active on my website because I have all the other things going on but I also have a link to um, coupon databases on mine um, they stopped giving, letting it be available um, for you to embed it into your site. So mine is a link, okay? And it's if you wanted to visit my site, it's uh, couponingatisfinest.wordpress.com. Okay, now, if you just, when it comes up here, it says right up here at the top, coupon database, store coupons and manufacture coupons. And as you can see, hers is dated back in 2010. Around that time is when they stopped letting it be available to embed. Okay, now if you scroll down, you're going to see this list right here. Um, and you're going to see a search box. And next to it, it has search and it has print. Okay, now you can ignore this list for now because we haven't searched anything. Okay, so what you're going to do is, I need to switch around. You're going to click in the box and you're going to type in any coupon that you're looking for, anything. Um, let's see, what's popular right now? Garnier. Let's type in Garnier. And this is going to tell you all coupons that are available. Now, once you type in, oh, I cannot spell sideways. <laughs> okay, Garnier. Any day now. There we go. Okay, now you can either click on search right here or you can just hit enter on your keyboard. And then it's going to come up with another page. It's searched what you told it to search. Okay, now let's go ahead and go down just a little bit. Okay, now these are all the coupons that are available. Okay, now it's going to show you the description, which is what the coupon is. It's going to show you the value of the coupon, like the first one, the Garnier Moisturizer. The coupon value is a $3 off one. Okay, next to it is going to show the expiration, 8-27-17, August 26, 2017. Next to it is going to give you the source. Now I've shown you guys um, the system that I use, the no clip system, where I archive all of my inserts and I um, file them per date. 
that's going to be to your advantage if you use that um that system if you use the clip all you're going to need to be a whole lot more organized to know what insert it came from i just want to get a little bit closer so that you can see it better okay so the source is 730 red plum next to it is the limitations um what i like some of the restrictions it doesn't tell you all of them um but it excludes trial and um mask and then it's showing the blogging format, um, basically like what it is, like a printable, is it an IP or is it um, an insert, you know, and gives basically. Okay, now with that said, um, let's say for instance, you have um, a breakdown that you're trying to do that you got from offline or you might've got out of Facebook um, and somebody gave like, okay, um, it's a two off two or something like that, but they didn't show the location of it and you don't know where to get that coupon from, you would use the coupon database for that. Like, okay, they bought the Garnier moisturizer and they got it for a dollar each, but they didn't say. Um, instead of just going on and asking, I mean, you could just ask them where they got it from, but it'll probably take days or um, to the end of the day for them to get back to you. You don't have to do that. Use the coupon database and look up the coupon and you'll find where it came from. Now, here's an example right here. Hopefully you guys, you guys can see this. I don't have my cubby holes and I'm an organization together because I'm still unpacking for my move, but I, I've been doing this long enough to know what to do with my coupons. This is the no clip system. Um, and I've explained this previously. You just um, write on it, like this is the 813 smart source. And I mark on each and every one of the coupons that I get on that Sunday what it is. This is the 813. And what is it? It's the smart source. So if in a scenario, um, they say the Garnier moisturizer, which this is not in this insert, but just for example purposes, the Garnier moisturizer from the 813 smart source, I would go to that month, I would go to that date, and I would pull this insert and pull that coupon to see if I have it. Um, some coupons are regional. Everyone does not get the same coupon or coupon value, but it's a good enough system where I'm able to, you know, just go, pull, cut, go. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, that's another, that's a disadvantage for the clip all system, um, unless you're super, super organized. Um, one example that I did give was to put tabs in your um, binder and organize your coupons according to the date and source, meaning like the 813, that's the date and the source, smart source, so that you know when you see the breakdowns, hey, let me turn to that tab in my binder. Yes, it is gonna be time consuming to do that, but I mean, that's what you need to do. You need to find out, if, especially if you're new to couponing, what kind of system do you wanna use? What's gonna be convenient for you? Me personally, I'm always on the go, so I really don't have time to sit there and do clip all ever um so this works for me this has been working for me for over five years the disadvantage is when you're in the store and you have you come up on a clearance deal or something like that that you might not have that coupon so they all have advantages and disadvantages so that's something that you guys need to think about when you're um coming into couponing and you need to figure out some kind of organization. So that's pretty much it to the um, coupon database. You just put in um, what you are looking for. Oh shoot, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, you guys know already I'm klutzy. Um, but you just put in what you're looking for and it pulls it directly up and gives you where that coupon is located. Um, a lot of people are struggling, I've noticed, because they're using the clip all system and they don't have the organization um, to be able to pull these coupons, but that's one the number one of the number one things for couponing period is Organization you have to be organized or you're going to struggle I've said that in like some of my other tutorial videos you have to or I mean it's gonna end up being pointless You're gonna get frustrated and the last thing you want is to quit before you start So yeah, that's it you guys know I'm long-winded. I don't want to make this any longer because that's it to the um, coupon database. You just go to cuckooforcouponedeals.com and you just click on database and you just look up the coupon that you're looking for. That's it. Very, very, very super simple. Okay, guys, that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and happy couponing with love. Bye.